Hi folks, in this tutorial we'll implement a simple application using Spring Boot and FreeMarker. For this I am going to take reference of my website javainews.com. In the Spring menu go to the Spring Boot section. So previously we had implemented an application using Spring Boot and JSP. So we had used JSP as the view. Uh, this tutorial is also going to be similar to this so I would recommend to go through this once because the project structure and uh, the logic that we are going to use is going to be pretty similar uh, to this one. Now we are going to look at this tutorial Spring Boot plus FreeMarker example. So what is a FreeMarker and uh, why should we be using it? FreeMarker is a Java based template engine originally focusing on dynamic web page generation with MVC software architecture. The major advantage of using FreeMarker is the complete separation of the presentation layer and the business layer. So the programmers they can work on the application code while the designers they will work on the HTML page design. This diagram here it gives us a better understanding of the working of a FreeMarker template. So FreeMarker template they are nothing but uh, text files which contain the desired output along with placeholders like this uh, dollar name and uh, they might even contain some additional logic like conditional statements, loops etc. In a Java program we supply the actual values for these uh, play placeholders and uh, then the final output it will be a combination of these both and uh, we'll get an output such as these. So uh, let's uh, begin the implementation and see how this is done. Go to Eclipse and create a Maven project. I'll name this as boot free marker. Next we'll be adding the free marker starter uh, maven dependency provided by spring boot. So all the dependencies that are required for free marker will be automatically downloaded by the spring boot application. Copy the dependencies from here. So Next, we'll be creating the uh, main class that will be having the uh, Spring Boot uh, application annotation. So. Next we define a java class to define a controller uh, to expose the uh, get request and the request mapping for it will be welcome. Also we will be uh, using a request parameter to pass some value to this uh, controller method and uh, the request parameter we will be using it in the free marker template. The value of this is name. So let's create this. So here we have defined uh, the controller. This controller it returns the value welcome. So this is similar to what we have done in uh, the application we created using Spring Boot and JSP. So the welcome now it needs to be uh, mapped to the uh, .ftl file. So for this mapping we will be creating an application .properties and uh, using the suffix and prefix we map this to the welcome.ftl template. So in the source main resources create a file with the name application.properties so now what will happen is when this method is called and the welcome it is returned in the application.properties it will look for uh, the welcome.ftl uh, free marker template. Finally, we will be creating the free marker template. So, this is the free marker template that we will be defining. It has a single placeholder name. 
and this value we are passing it uh, through the controller method here in the model we are adding the attribute name and uh, this va name value it will be passed as a request parameter so let's create this so for creating this inside uh, the main you will first have to create the web app folder and inside it will define welcome.ftl inside this create a file so we are done with all the changes we will start this boot application run this with java application so our application it has started successfully next we will go to this url here we will be passing this value so here we can see that uh, the placeholder uh, it is correctly replacing the request parameter value that we are sending also another thing that we can observe here is that suppose we change this value we don't have to compile this again so that uh, this value gets reflected here if we just refresh this so it will get reflected so the uh, FTL template it doesn't need to be compiled again and again this is one of the major advantage. Hope you have understood this tutorial. The source code for this it can be downloaded from here. Thank you.